Hey everybody, this is Jace from Marshall Made Collectibles, and I said I would do a real quick review. And uh, this is on the new Coswell Collectibles uh, cybernetic bodies, or basically their their take on the Atomic Man body that uh, GI Joe put out. Um, these just came in the other day uh, when I had spoke to Art over at Coswell's. Uh, they were going to get like 15 prototypes in, so I went ahead and and picked up three uh, to work on some little stuff for my private collection. And uh, I gotta say, I really like these figures. I know uh, the G.I. Joe Club uh, this year, their their giveaway figure or their membership club figure is going to be uh, a new version of uh, Mike Powers, the Atomic Man. And uh, that's the reason why I've got uh, my vintage Mike Powers out here with him. Now, I know a lot of the old older figures they have the same kind of problem I don't know if the camera is picking it up but like his leg and his upper arm are slightly uh, yellowing uh, kinda looks like he's got uh, like uh, some aging there or maybe he was just a heavy smoker the lower arm stayed clear because that's a harder ABS plastic than uh, these top pieces which are they feel a little bit more rubbery they're more uh, more of a, a pliable vinyl, and I think that's why they they don't retain the the clearness or uh, the translucency. I'm going to try to do a, a product that many um, computer geeks know about, which is called RetroBright, where you mix a hydrogen peroxide solution, and then once you put it in the sun, it can restore everything from like old Nintendo systems, cartridges, and things like that. And I'm hoping it will bring back some of the clearness on uh, that figure, but that remains to be seen. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out these guys real quick. Like I said, I just want to do a quick review. It's your standard Coswell body. Um, they're not as clear. If you can see the limbs, they're more of a haze to them. I know I've had questions from uh, different guys on the boards, and especially over on Facebook. Can these be customized? Can you put like silver pieces in? And I imagine you could. I imagine you could either change out these pegs for silver, um, maybe even like, you know, like the Mike Powers has like a silver uh, uh, upper, upper, um, Jesus, you can tell I just got off of work, has an upper bicep pin up there that's silver. You might be able to replace that one with silver, silver ankle pegs and stuff like that. Or you might just be able to take those out and paint them. But it's not going to be that clearness that you had with the vintage figure but for not having anything like that at all for the, ever in a day uh what the, the mic came out in what 1975 i believe and here we are 2015 and this is the first time we've had anything like this so i'm kind of uh, stoked that they are doing this um, you also got the four limb figure. It's the same thing basically uh, as the three except you have the left arm that's done up to um, I really like them. They're basically just like the Coswell bodies uh, Joints are nice and tight. Mine did have some uh, a little issues with the loose knees But I just tightened those uh, I tightened up that rivet or that pin with a pair of pliers and No flop anymore and they're nice and tight so no issues there but um you're looking at 15 if you buy multiples they discount them i think i i got these for like 14 and some change a piece which you know is excellent especially for a customizer just something that you want to have on your shelf and and add to it you pop on a couple heads and you've got a complete figure for like less than 20 bucks so you can't go wrong Anyway, that's my review. Definitely something to look forward to. Uh, I think they're going to have some more in at the end of this month or in uh, December. So definitely give uh, Coswell Collectibles a look-see. And uh, if you're interested, go ahead and pick them up and pre-order them now. Because i got a feeling that they'll sell out of them pretty quick. Anyway, thank you for your time. You guys have a great day.